The action continues at the Swatch Pro. We're moving into the third round now, back into the non-elimination rounds with Steph Gilmore taking on Joanne DeFay and Silvana Lima. Ronnie Blakey joined with Pete Mel. Hey, Ronnie. All these last two heats of the day. Hi, Peter. Hey, that uh, it's going to be a nice positive finish to the day. Steph Gilmore getting started straight away here. A nice looking wall. Things look to be cleaning up out here at Lower Trestles. Steph letting go of a couple of decent turns already. Always performs with a lot of style. Turn it on, but good start for her. She would like these positive signs. She's even mentioned, you know, those couple event losses where she just waited too long. And she wants to get those quick starts, get that momentum early. So again, with these three women heats, important to get that quick start. And she's done it. Not going to be a gigantic score, but definitely going to loosen her up for the rest of this heat. Just kept that down the line flow, didn't she? Let go of a couple of big speed hits and started to draw her turns out a little more down the line, waiting for the numbers to come through. So you would have had all three competitors having the opportunity to catch that wave. She was right in the spot. Here we go. Lima up and just racing to try and find the open face. Can't quite get there. Her priority or her place in the priority order. Joanne DeFay now. Oh, well, this is exactly what Steph wanted. Now she's got priority again. She's on the outside. Almost dragged her out of position when she didn't have priority, but both Steph, Steph's rivals caught a little too far inside. And Gilmore Ooh. with an opportunity now to put up a second score. She falls. Side, which just feels like, whoa, whipping it around. Well, Joanne was going to get priority, but she's opted to go this wave. Maybe for fear of Steph swinging on the inside and putting up another big score. Joanne, though, already two decent moves. And she gets a, a really good little hit to finish that wave off. I mean, if you're really tough to pass up a set wave opportunity, which, uh, you know, I think that it was a good call. I mean, it feels like this wave is going to be an all right score, especially when that maneuver gets completed. You know, three with a fourth turn for a finish. I mean, that's going to be an all right number. Uh, an easy call, a good looking wall stretching out in front, and instantly she's able to generate a lot of speed for this first section. A lot of style in that move, grabbing that rail for a moment. So this is three solid hits already. She's trying to find some wall to work with again. I was just can't neat. quite get there for the finish, but still, some damage done on the outside. Gilmore up now. Looking to drop a one. Just tweaks that floater a little bit. Drives around the section. The wave standing up a couple of times for the six-time world champ. As needed in this back half when you have three people in the water. Joanne drives around the first section. The wave flattens out a little bit. So she's just chipping away at the moment. Adding some small points, waiting to get some major moves done on the inside. Draws out that cut back and realizes that she hasn't got that big money turn that's going to... Significant exchange. All three surfers picking up quality waves. I feel like Joanne's opportunity here probably not going to score as high as uh, the other two competitors. Just didn't quite have that high impact move, but as you had mentioned, significant speed held by Savannah Lima. It had to pretty much project down the line, very horizontal approach, but the wave kind of called for it, whereas Steph was able to go a little bit more vertical and round out her turns, get that board headed the other direction, especially here. A little drift. And then Silvana, again, this wave stretched out, but look how much speed she picked up so quickly, and then that float covers a ton of ground. You know, I was expecting her to be behind for a period of time there, and she just kept herself flying down the line, so a lot of speed carry. Silvana drops the highest score of this heat so far, an 8.33. Steph is going to answer with another seven, though, so Silvana's going to be chasing something. She kicks the tail free. There's that approach that we know Silvana possesses. We're just not seeing it enough. And as a result, she hasn't been that consistent. But this is another <laughs> solid wave for Silvana. This might be better than the 8.33. Oh, significantly better. I, I feel like that's a, a 9. That's going, that's going right up there. I mean, 
the score to drop for Stephanie. She will get back into the lead, but this way for Silvana should see her in the first place. Progression right here, drifting the fins up above the lip, carries the speed nicely right there to project again. This board looks spot on. A little magic tool for Silvana. And that little two-turn combo at the end after the first move outside, nice. It's a 6.07 to jump into the lead, but have a look at this. That's beautiful. Again, transferring that weight to the front foot, so drifting over the top of the lip, comes out with speed. Again, attacking the lip, projects again down the line. Just unweighting and waiting at the exact right time. Putting that Marcio Zubi surfboard to a test here. Steph throwing some numbers out of her own. <laughs> She's saying 10 point ride. It's going to go close. But then climbed up onto the roof very quickly. Oh, it's high risk surfing and it's being well rewarded. 9.77, the single highest score of the event so far. And this is the best heat score total we've seen. 18.1. Silvana Lima, I can't remember the last time she jumped from the first round to the third. With Peterson in that last heat, surfed with a lot of speed. Silvana Lima. She seems to be in a different gear to Steph Gilmore and Joanne DeFay at the moment. As Steph takes off there, just gets stuck behind. And here is Joanne's opportunity to break combination. And she goes to the reverse. She's going to ride out of this one, gets tangled up in the foam, but sticks with it. Just the one move. Is that magic tight here at Trestles? See this uh, again, just carrying a ton of speed. First move here. Trying to get back to that open face. Not able to happen for Steph, so she goes down. And then, again, one of these waves, it's going to shut down quickly. So she goes for the one major move. Pulls it off. Had to meander through the soup there, but she does. Uh, some positive memories at this location. Well, one move here by Joanne DeFay. Doesn't even go into her top two. And I think a lot of the reasoning behind that, even though it was a very dynamic maneuver, the fact that she wasn't able to ride out of it really clean. clean. Let's dive into the recap now. Steph Gilmore, who started off with a couple of solid rides. A 7.33 to get started here. Yeah, I mean, it felt like it was going to be a Steph Gilmore show, but then this happened. Savannah Lima puts up a, a solid number of an 8.33 and looked significantly faster than her rivals. And then puts up a big number, the best number of the day, a 9.77, which then put her as the best heat total for the entire event for the Swatch Pro. And put herself as one to watch for maybe a championship. <laughs> you can tell she loved it. And she's not even going to go. Joanne DeFay, she'll swing and go left. Up into this first section, the way flattening out a little. She's going to kick out. 30 seconds to go. Ronnie, it's definitely got that lower light now and looking beautiful out there. Joanne riding this one through to the inside, but big props to Savannah Lima. The big numbers were dropped by Steph Gilmore. Joanne DeFay had a solid 6.43, 6.93, sorry. <laughs> but Silvana Lima, she turned it with a 9.33, quickly backed it up with the highest score of the event so far.